Plantation slowly fade away. But I'm not a German of a man, not for the novel line that you know why. But I'm stuck in the bed like a tumor. The bed like this type, when I like it, but who might have never been polite, not only by whom I start for your nothing, the master you were done. Get your visa, you follow them, my people, you drop on them. Sit on my kitchen, you're fine, and you walk on them. Tell them I'm your friend, but them I'm not my boss, but me say. Well, just see, I can't sleep with you. Good and ever. They are like the trees, they are blue. Good and ever. They can show you. One day done for them a go my act like Them a you bread all them good bomb is back bite Watch them kill the British who them a go Go show them colors like a stamp like them Call it all pass bite Them a so dirty man fist cover with a scotch right Them need a whole reservoir a jelly water fi wash off them ass That could hold it and no act man at the stand by I know Dirty act can sweep it through Good and ever They are like the trees they can blow Good and ever They can show it Well, granny tell me, friend, don't trip. So from the dad where you live, friend, we don't trip. A family we say because I know everything we come and show to it. And your friend, first, if you're making money, all leave enough. Last them where you like the sheep, back a little more beef. Watch them gain a little quit, don't sleep. Cause when you're just sleep, you won't see it. Let's 
slow like you, I'm late and slow with it, hey, hey, ah. Well, granny, tell me, friend, don't trip, so from the other day you live, friend, we don't trip, a family with some big ass, I know everything we come and show this, and your friend, first, if you're making money, oh, leave enough, last of all, it's like the sheep, back a little more brief, watch them kill and leave a quit, don't sleep, got them in the sleep, you won't sleep, Many find it difficult because them ignorant and lie When alone they get in a goal, live another lie Telling them again, but I know in a data vice Life, no get chance too often But also many sadness and invest in a laughing Time get a cash, lifetime passing Tell them say you love them for you, see them in a coffin Let me tell you this when you got good days, bad days You know say you wait up, me with a field house and car and shed up Just forget one more minute with my bread up So you get up, spend time to get up Cherish every second of the day, where you day up I they tell you I had a close one yesterday That was an angel over The simple me. things are your blessings Simple things, them are your blessings Your blessings, simple things are your blessings I you not know it's your blessings The simple things are your blessings Simple things, them are your blessings Your blessings, simple things, them are your blessings You better know it's your blessings We got life So let's live You make the time for tears to paper When last you say your prayer yeah. We got life So let's live and while you're worshiping your treasure, remember nothing lasts forever. The simple things are your blessings. Simple things are my your blessings, your blessings. Simple things are my your blessings. You better know it is your blessings. The simple things are my your blessings. Simple things are my your blessings, your blessings. Simple things are my your blessings. You better know it is your blessings. Simple things, all the simple things. All the simple things. All the simple things. Let me tell you about the simple things I'm really your friends, I know simple things Good morning, good evening, good night. Uh, what's your time where you are? My 
massive earthquake is about to happen and we're about to kick off the red zone the beginning of the domino effect to the caribbean islands the east coast the west coast the north coast the south coast they are all going to experience this domino effect which it is going to take a toll on the earth which is going to cause catastrophic consequences read what is in the description of the live <laughs> Hello, Maxi Brown. Hello to you, sister. All right. So all the uh, all the small minor earthquakes that. Uh, it is occurring around the earth for quite a long while right now while uh, sometimes you might get a major one it might be like 5.1 or 6.1 uh, according to the magnitude is according to the shift of the tectonic plates that Yahua is aligning to bring forth the mega tsunami so that means that the pole rivers are shifting has already begun but this is just the first phase of the pole rivers are shifting so we are in the first phase of the pole rivers are shifting and uh, Today, which was the which is the fifteenth of February, twenty Gregorian night phase of the pole reversal shifting. The pole reversal shifting has seven phases. All right, seven phases the pole reversal shifting has, and uh, we are in the first phase. We are going to enter into the second phase, beginning the fifteenth, which is the day of. Uh, February 2019, we're going to catastrophic events occurring around the earth as Abba Yahuwah is still in the progress, and still in the process rather, of uh, achieving the saturation process. Trinidad and Tobago will experience the final saturation. The final saturation will occur in Trinidad in a few days from now. When that saturation is, is 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 near to completion there will be catastrophic consequences going on or occurring in trinidad which they will bring to a state of emergency quickly all right so there were also some things that i want you all to know about which we will be talking about in a sec <laughs> going to read what is on the screen what is flashing across the screen right now when the tectonic plate is partially oversetting so that's what was going on right now the tectonic plates is oversetting it means that the way how it was created the way how it was laid it has been lifted and pushed forward as i told you all it's been lifted and pushed forward not backward so like how they're actually saying how uh the poles are shifting that's just bullshit all right no the poles didn't begin to shift yet so i saw an article speaking about the pole shift occurring that the north pole uh, already going no that that that's just bullshit we ain't reached there yet we have start where the pole started to switch that's just bullshit guys the pole ain't begin to switch yet all right when the poles begin to switch i will tell you i will tell you when it begin to switch right now the poles and shift yet the pole reversal shifting the final phase is the final final event 
the poor self will shift all the all the that seven phase will bring catastrophic dire uh you know dire um consequences so the poles in begin to switch yet they're talking shit they're talking real switch real shit caca set so that when the pole shift when the pole reverses shifting begin to the seventh phase the last phase of all the phase that is when the pole reversal shifting will happen that is when all the poles will switch the pole reversal shifting is not only about the pole shifting and the pole will go to the east and the west will come to the north and the north will go to the south no <coughs> they're talking real shit you understand they they're stealing my prophecies <coughs> They're stealing my prophecies and I have no idea what I'm talking about because they just want favoritism and uh, they just want to be famous. They just want people to run to them for information when they are the ones who are not the righteous one. They are not righteous. They are not holy. There's nothing good. There's nothing. There's nothing good. Up, uh, 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 you know, there's nothing good about these uh, people who want to be me. So all those people who want to be me, there's nothing good in them nothing good in them like devika ragu all the all those different uh people like mark l king and all these all those other people who who stealing the prophecy from elohim stealing the prophecy from me so there's nothing good in them because all what they did was steal the prophecy change around the words in their own words as though they know something they don't know nothing he don't know nothing about the poly versus shifting devika knows nothing she don't know nothing and by the way a psychic is not a prophet a psychic is not a prophetess all right a psychic is a witch right everybody should know a psychic do prophesy but this psychic that they have in trinidad she prophet lying to people stating that she getting things she receiving things via visions when she watching over my lives make taking all the good parts from the life leaving the devastating parts right they don't know nothing about what's going on only i alone as i've already uh decreed that i am the only one who knows what's going on around the earth i'm the only one yahuwah rely on to teach his way i'm the only one that yahuwah relies on so that i could bring forth the ancient truth of elohim i am the only one everyone who claim to know about the poor reversal shifting or the poor self they are frauds yahuwah said it multiple time that all those who who pretending to know right what's going on they are frauds <laughs> our souls didn't see they didn't see what the prophecy states let me read it out for you all let me let me just get it from from that part and let me just read it let me just read it out there all right so let's go uh let me see if i could just slow it down some more i will just slow it down so I'll slow it down the tectonic plates is being arranged you know what's the meaning of arranged the tectonic plate is being arranged it means that uh the the tectonic plates has been arranged it means it is arranged to create something is arranged to do something arranged means like arrangement the way how it was before it's not it's no longer in the way it was before so they don't understand the difference between the pole shift and the pole reversal shifting they have no idea what's the difference between the both because they are just stealing my words stealing my prophecies stealing the predictions and then saying they're getting things via visions and some of them saying that they did the research and they know about this and they know about that but i have been telling you all the truth for quite a long while i'm telling you that there's no way that yahuwah reveal personal things to me and when i release it to you the public there are other people who all of a sudden saying that they receive it through via visions never they could never receive this thing via visions only if they get it from me you understand to be you know very honest so these people need to stop lying to the public all right 
the tectonic plates is being uh, partially, right, partially aligned as of right now, all right, <coughs> to create this atmospheric shift in Indonesia and the Caribbean islands. So in a few, in the last few days, in the last few days, in the month of February, there were multiple earthquakes occurring in Dominica, all right, so there have been there have been a lot of changes a lot of although people might know but i am the only one know the reason for the small earthquakes they're talking once of a set of this and this they do have no idea guys what the reason why there are small earthquakes they don't know why they don't know why there are small earthquakes and why certain things happening all of a sudden and they're just speculating guys they're just speculating they don't know exactly what's going on all right so to create the atmosphere the atmospheric shift atmospheric shift have a lot to do with the atmospheric river which is uh which will be put in put in place as of being put in place right now in california to complete the saturation in certain places in california so certain places in california need uh water to saturate the land in order for the fault lines to come up uh you know in order for the for the fault all right in order for the san andreas fault to be active uh in order for the san andreas fault to be active there must be saturation in order to activate it all right so earthquakes not just going i mean a mega earthquake not just going to happen just like that things need to be put in place in order for certain things to happen and people have no idea what's going on they have no idea at all people are speculating and just stealing the prophecies and stealing things stealing uh writings and stealing wordings and stealing uh you know they're stealing uh the the stealing all what yahuwah told me alone in the secret place so if yahuwah told me a b and c in the secret place how the heck somebody else will hear that it's impossible guys you understand my point is that they hearing me coming live and then saying a b and c will happen and then what they will do put two and two together and then they will say yeah you know i can just i'm here ready telling the truth and then they will steal that then they will steal that and then they will say a b and c and they might miss out d and d is the is the main uh d is the main vibration for certain things to come forth you know what i mean so it's impossible for yahuwah to tell me something in the secret place all right and then other people saying that they get it via visions could never be guys could never ever 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 be you understand and just imagine to boot there and just imagine to boot that these so-called ungodly people who is so-called people these ungodly rats and them right who misleading other people to the lake of eternal fire they have no idea what's coming for them they have no idea what is already in the making for them you understand so they're misleading other people not to listen to archangel samuel right but they steal the words and then they turn around the prophecy in their own words right casting a curse on all those who believe in what they say which is not the actual truth but they will turn it around in their words but they will still remain they will still leave behind remnants of the prophecy so to speak so that they could be exposed you understand what i mean if yahuwah reveals something only to me there's no way no psychic no witch no warlock no pastor no prophet no deacon no evangelist there's no way none of them will never know about it so if yahuwah reveals something to me alone he will it to me me only right he don't tell a b and bam bam about the things he's going to do he, he only choose or chose a particular amount of people who he will tell certain things there are certain things that yahuwah will never tell people never but he will tell me right so what i say in other words there's no way that yahuwah tell me something personally and other people talking about they get it via visions that they uh see it in a vision or all kind of shit when they don't want to give me credit they don't want to give elohim credit nor me credit for what they steal from my life right they don't want to do that it's sad it, it, it i mean it's sad it really sad but that is what the world has come to you know that is what the world has come to 
all right so the minor earthquakes will continue until the process of the saturation is completed for all islands look at right here the minor earthquakes will continue until the process of the saturation until the process of the saturation is completed all right so when the process of the saturation is completed for all islands which includes everywhere on the earth then the greater judgment will commence with fireballs we already see fireballs beginning because the fireballs is an indication of this prophecy fulfilling now right so the fireballs happening right now all over the earth there were a fireball in uh in venezuela a fireball three two fireballs fall in trinidad and they're covering it up and they're hiding it from the public you know they don't want the public to know you understand so what they're doing is they're, they're, they're trying to discredit the things that i'm teaching you but still stealing what i'm teaching you and putting it, putting it into their own words as though they are the ones who truly get this divine word from the creator us you understand what i mean but i'm telling you there are something coming for them honestly that's something coming for them so you see in there judgment will commence with fireballs we already seen fireballs happening so again the minor earthquakes right the minor earthquakes will continue right the minor earthquakes the minor earthquakes will continue until the process of the saturation is completed so once the process of the saturation is completed for all islands then the greater judgment will commence with fire balls it's not comment comment do exist the word comment is a deception from the real truth of fireballs being sent down from heaven just like what happened in sodom and gomorrah that's what i'm saying let's go on to the uh, second verse the final saturation is on the way all right to complete this process to come sorry to complete this process to complete the, the saturation phases all right around the earth all right so that must be happened so the final saturation is on the way to complete the process of the you know to complete the process to complete the saturation phases understand so there is a phase also so there's a phase for uh the pole reversal shifting there's a phase for the pole shift and there's a phase for the saturation process right and all the phase are seven right so the saturation phases is seven right the pole shift the well the pole shift is seven phases the pole reversal shifting is seven phases so what we get seven 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 all right <clears throat> again to note that the this is something that yahuwah only revealed to i only alone so i'm telling you something new all right the saturation phases is seven all right the pole shift phases is seven right and the pole reversal shifting is seven all right so therefore we will get seven mega tsunamis going together with the seven uh, saturation phases going together with the pole shift reve uh, phases and the pole reversals um shifting phases are four sevens so that is completion of um that is completion right there make sure you take note of that let's move on to something else all right so check out make sure you check out my live streams to know more in depth truth all right make sure you watch my live on the nether maventorian page in nether uh, akinja samuel page make sure you watch uh the live there because facebook blocked that um facebook blocked that all right <clears throat> do you know that <clears throat> that devika is the one who reporting all my posts devika and her minions are the ones who reporting all my posts yes and when you or i and you go re, go to report her post her attack against us in righteousness there is no way facebook not allowing us facebook is not allowing us to report devika ass and all the evil things that she's saying against us 
they're not allowing it because she is part of the Illuminati. So she getting away with murder. You understand? She getting away with murder, with attempted murder. You understand? She getting away with crimes above the head of humanity. She getting away with crimes that she should be locked away for. You understand what I mean? But that ain't happening. We are the ones who suffering to bring the truth out to the public. But nobody else ain't listening to us. They're running down the sidekicks, the pastors, you know. They're running down the people of the earth for their oil. Rather than run, run to me, who the only one who have the authority to state uh, Elohim's ancient truth and to teach you the ancient phases of things. How Yahuwah does things. So when the tectonic uh, plates when the tectonic plates let's see if I could just move this around there alright <clears throat> so when the tectonic plates when the tectonic plate is partially overset lifted and when released it generates a pull in the waves from out of the sea that is about 300 feet I think it's about 300 feet right let's see what the other part will say in the depths of 13 feet of water well it's really 300 feet of water but I put 1300 feet of water to, to distract the enemy to confuse them so that they wouldn't understand that not seen and converts it into a into tsunami waves I uh, saw so you all already what a tsunami wave so you all know um, you all know exactly already what is a tsunami wave right <clears throat> you also know uh, by now what is uh, the tsunami waves and how it's generated and stuff like that all right <clears throat> and the tectonic magnetic waves pushed in forward there's no way that nobody knows about the tectonic magnetic waves those are things that i already spoken those are things that i alone speaks nobody knows nothing about a tectonic magnetic waves right all of a sudden now you see devi and them talking and devi talking about magnetic like if she fucking know what's a magnetic you understand they don't know nothing they don't know what is a tectonic magnetic my point is the people running after the wrong set of people you understand there's no way those are things that yahuwah only tell me and me only nasa and usgs yes, they don't know nothing about magnetic tectonic they don't know nothing about a magnetic earthquake they don't know nothing they don't know nothing all they know is what is is is, is the little knowledge that lucifer gives them about earthquakes that's all they know i am teaching in depth I am teaching in depth things that nobody else on the earth knows. I am teaching you things that nobody else on the earth knows, but there's a fucking hoe like Devika who continue to steal, steal it. When I so be the one recognize to save people, the one who truly put in the sacrifices forward to reach out to people, right? Uh dying happening. She pulling people to her and her cult. You understand? But what I didn't say to those people who following this influence of Satan, that when that time of judgment come, which will be in a few days from now, all of you will be bagged up together and suffer down the line. Yeah. Because all they were following a witch, when I'm trying to tell you all, listen to what I'm saying. You need to make some changes in your life. And nobody is listening to that. Everybody just continue worshiping idols. She continue to push the agenda for the Illuminati. She continue to tell people worship Pavati, worship this God, worship that God, and people keep going with it. Now the time, the time has come when Yahuwah will show no mercy to all those who worshiping idols. To all those who worshiping idols, Yahuwah will show no mercy, no mercy at all. Yahuwah will show no mercy at all will be shown to those wicked, ungodly heathens of Lucifer. No mercy will not be shown to them. Curse be all those, curse be all those who outside of the ark, all those who outside of the ark. Curse be all those. Curse be all those who are outside of the ark. Curse shall be their step. Curse shall be their step. Because that is what they choose. They choose a curse over righteousness. They choose a lie, which is a curse, which is a generational curse. They chose the lies of Lucifer. They chose the deception of Azazel. 
they chose the deception of Kali and all the other demigods on in the earth curse shall be their steps from now on curse shall be their steps they will eat the very bread that the devil needs they will eat that bread from now on and they will know how serious it really is they will know how serious it really is you understand woe be unto all those who love darkness rather than the light of yah woe be unto all those in this hour woe be unto all those who love darkness rather than love righteousness the light of yahuwah woe unto all those who hate elohim woe unto all those who hate righteousness woe unto all those who hate imaya woe unto all those who hate yahushua woe unto all those who hate the creators of eternal life woe unto all those who hate the creators who created this world who created the heavens right and who created the earth woe unto all those who hate the creators elohim your judgment will be swift very very swift and there will be no dog no dog you understand no dog will even be around to be a help to you that is how sad it will be it will be so sad that not even my dog will want to come near them because the fear of death will be a stench around them as long as they live in this life as long as they live in this life as long as they live and they breathe the breath of the most high as long as they live they are ungrateful bastards they are reprobates and they will be brought under judgment according to the law of the triune eternal family this is the hour when all those who reject the righteousness of the most high all those who reject the oil of salvation they will suffer the, the undying they will suffer they will suffer the consequences for their actions they will suffer it really really bad yep and they will know how serious it is how serious it was because all those who talk in left and right they have no idea how deceived they are they are very deceived and they will suffer the wrath of the triune eternal family they will suffer the consequences in such a way they will never see when it coming it will hit them like a domino effect and then they will know that is yahuwah that speaks to i archangel samuel then they will know that is yahuwah who decree his judgment upon this earth upon this hour and then they will know not to mess with the righteous ones anymore for the eden shall tremble in their boots oh yeah they shall tremble in their boots all they're studying now is lime all they're studying now is fat and drinking rum all they're studying now is run down holes all what they're studying now all what they're studying now is the worldly lifestyle they're not they're not coming into alignment with elohim at all there will be no eternal life for these people all those christians and muslims and buddhists and and, and new ages sky watchers there's no place for you in heaven there's no place for you in the new jerusalem there's no place for you even on earth and you will be cut off one by one you understand you will go in groups from now on and you will see how dread yahuwah is and then you will know how serious this time is because people take things for granted when yahuwah was pouring out his heart when Imaya was pouring out her heart and yahushua pouring out their heart they laugh at them woe be unto all those who mock and scoff at the triune eternal family woe unto them and beginning today the 15th of february shall judgment of the most high shall it commence with a boom shall it commence from the east shall it commence from the west shall it commence from the north shall it commence from the south from today on shall judgment be upon this earth because this world hates righteousness they hate the creators they hate Elohim this world has become a place of a nasty dirty stench this place has become a place of wickedness evil 
and nasty vipers this place is not a place for the righteous to be anymore this place called earth is no place of refuge your refuge is in new jerusalem i say refuge your refuge is the new jerusalem that is where the refuge will be so all those who don't listen warn to all those who pretend to love you all those who just come on the life and pretend to serve you they pretend to serve you they pretend to talk about Imaya. They pretend to talk about Yahushua because they're trying to find a way out. You know, they only want to escape. That's all it is, and all it is, they just to escape. But behind my back, they're talking about Jesus this and Jesus that. Well, let me tell you something. One man can serve two masters. You can serve Yahushua. I'm gonna serve Satan. You can't serve Yahushua and want to serve Satan. You can't serve Yahushua. You cannot. You cannot say you're serving Yahushua, but you're sleeping with the devil. You can't say. You can't say that you is a worshiper of the triune eternal family you can't say that you're walking in light yet your life in line up in righteousness so you're only walking in your own imagination you're walking in your own flesh you can't serve two masters you can't serve two masters you can't serve two masters you can't serve or pretend to serve Yahushua but love Jesus who is a devil your car serve two masters you have to choose one choose one choose one and is it I love one or your, is it your love Yahushua or your hate Yahushua or your love Satan or your love Jesus right you can't serve two masters you see pretending people i know all who they are i won't reveal the name now but in a few days from now in a few days from now i will tell you all all those who will not be left behind guaranteed 100 percent that they, they will they can't make heaven they can't make it because although they were given many opportunities they blow it you understand they were given plenty chances and they just blow it continually don't worry that time coming that day coming right all jokes and fun when that day come we will see all those who joking and all those who fun in we will see all those who are just blowing smoke and pretending to love the triune we will see you understand because names names of a lot of people have been already given to me already so i know all those who will be left behind and i said already a couple of weeks ago don't let your name be on my mouth right don't let your name be on my lips right all serious jokes all those who joking right all those who love to seriously joke and, and laugh and grin and mock and scoff that day coming for you a matter of fact it's already here it's already here it go begin today all right you understand and then you will know how serious it is <laughs> is in place 
once everything is in place right for the tectonic magnetic earthquake you hear that you hear you hear a different term i using right you hear a different term the different terms is in the messages in the prophecies that nobody knows about on the earth so once everything is in place set in place you see the word called set arrange set means arrange everything is set in place for the tsunamis to happen once everything is in place for the tectonic magnetic earthquake the mega tsunamis will be triggered by the, the tectonic plates nobody knows nothing about this right so all those who pretending to talk about they know about the tectonic plates and they know about this and they don't know nothing right those are divine words that was given only to me but all those who don't want to believe now you will believe soon but it could be too late right once everything is in place then the once everything is set in place for the tectonic magnetic earthquake then and very then the, mag the mega tsunamis will be triggered by the tectonic plates nobody knows nothing about no tsunamis being triggered by no tectonic plates you hear nobody knows nothing about that so all those who want to believe that i am the divine messenger that is them and all those who want to run behind the naysayers and the doomsayers of lucifer so be it they could continue with that right but when that day of judgment come you have nobody else to blame but themselves you know <laughs> Yeah, so right about now, let's go on, let's move on to the other part. All right, once everything, all right. So once everything is put into place, then the mega tsunamis will happen and all this kind of thing. Once you all follow my prophecies, you will know exactly what will happen next on the earth. For my prophecies, is an international prophecies which goes for all islands, all nations, even the ones that you don't know, even the ones that elites own or the, or the elites they control over, right, right right so now you know so when that happened it will release and it will be releasing the energy of the magnetic or the magnets so now you know there are magnet magnets there are magnets right magnets they are magnets right with with uh the magnets have different uh poles all right and each pole have a magnet so every pole like the east will have a magnet the west will have a magnet the north will have a magnet the epicenter of the the epicenter of the dome all right which is in south africa will also have a magnet in the center and the magnet in the center of the earth will be the positive energy and all the other magnets that is set up by the poles they are mixed with with um negative and positive energy but the what the magnet in the center of the earth that is what uh will do the pole reversal shifting i explained that to you already that is how uh the magnets contribute the magnets will contribute to the pole reversal shifting of the completion for the earth all right so that will be releasing the energy of the magnetics of the magnets right to push and generate the tsunami so yahuwah will use the magnets yahuwah will use the magnets right to push and generate the mega tsunamis all right so that's how the mega tsunamis will be happening <laughs> Shalom to you, Sister Kati. Shalom to you, Sister Kati. 
Remember early on when I explain specifically about the uh, the the a massive earthquake happening on the east coast, right? So if you know where the east coast is, you will know exactly where uh, will be affected, or where will be shift next, all right? So that's the reason for the small earthquakes happening is in order to uh, facilitate for when the mega shift happens that everything will already be in place to crush these fuckers. So they will be crushed by the uh, high, the highest tsunami wave might be about 7,000 feet high, all right? About 7,000 feet high will be that tsunami. So that tsunami will be high as the clouds, by the way, it will be high, you know? Who will declare my name? Who will shout my name in the middle of the nation? Who will take the shield of faith and the sword of my tongue and declare my name to a dying world? That's right, uh, Commander Lauren, that's right. Each pole, each pole of the earth has a magnet. That means that the, the magnet is on the east, the west, the north, and the south. But in the center of the earth, all right, in the center of the earth, the polarity is very strong. It much way more stronger, right? So that will be uh, that will be the determined factor in the polyvorsal shifting. So when all the magnets uh, generate and uh, the polarity is turned towards when the polarity of the magnet in the center of the earth is pole is, is turned towards the polarity or the, the, the determined factor, which is the one in the center of the earth. When all the other when all the other poles or the magnets is turned and face at the uh, main polarity right that is how the transformation will be happening that, that just one phase of the transformation so you should know right there is different phases in the transformation as well all right so i think there's about 12 there's about 12 phases in the transformation so i just given you all the, the different phases so that you know certain thing all right <clears throat> last year uh, last year, 2018, around uh, May, when Hawaii had uh, the lava explosion, uh, when the volcano exploded and Yahua uh, made a tsunami or a river of uh, lava, right, that ran into Hawaii. And I told you all there are different phases that will be happening. And I told you all the different phases too as well. I think you, you can't go back and look, to, look at that live. But I might, I have it downloaded, might play it sometime in the future again. So just stay close and uh, to learn more in advance and to understand that Yahuwah, Imaya, Lord Yahushua, they are the triune eternal creators. All right. And that Archangel Samuel, it, it is indeed the fifth uh the fifth angel all right of the end time apocalypse which is now presently all right the fifth angel of this end time apocalypse all right so just remain close to learn more and make sure that your lamp is full once your lamp continue to be full and your lamp is completely filled then and only then you will be rescued because you need the oil of salvation and the oil of salvation is not unrighteousness the oil of salvation is definitely not unrighteousness right the oil of salvation is righteousness pure undiluted righteousness the oil of salvation is the ancient truth that i teach you the oil of salvation is the ancient truth of elohim that is the oil of salvation with all the oil of salvation you will never ever ever get into the ark that is the rules i don't make it elohim does for the sands of time are running out but my name will be declared in this final hour i am your who i am that i am and my trumpet will soon call the i warn the world with a whisper oh but i'm getting ready i'm getting ready I'm getting ready to show. 
so this is how the tectonic plates is partially offsetting to create major tsunamis all right so it need to offset once it offset it will create major tsunamis as nice the first phase in doing certain things uh in bringing forth a catastrophic disaster or disasters or to bring the earth to end yahuwah have to offset everything everything needs to be offset and then it needs to be put in place again and when it's been put back into place it will create uh major tsunamis as well as mega tsunamis will come after when he when he actually add uh addition um tectonic plates to create um the offsetting or to or, or to create uh major tsunamis and one thing you know major tsunamis around the earth hey, what's up to you brother frank As we could see uh there all right as we could see as we could see for a mega tsunami all right there's a lot of adjustments for a mega tsunami to occur for major to, for a major tsunami to happen there must be minor adjustments again in order for mega for um, or mega tsunami to occur there must be uh mega there must be a lot of uh, adjustments that needs to be put in place so if there if there had to be a major tsunami if a major tsunami have to occur there will be minor adjustments when there is a mega tsunami to occur there will be a uh, major together with mega adjustments being put in place to create um to create that tsunami all right so for the mega tsunami and, and for the mega tsunami to occur and for the major tsunami to occur there need to be uh minor adjustments the minor adjustments was the smaller magnitude of earthquakes so the smaller magnitudes of earthquakes will cause uh it will cause minor earthquakes to occur which will be no sort of threat to the land but when you have uh, major adjustments going on, you, you, the major adjustments will eventually become a mega adjustment. Once you leave from the phase of the major, then you go into the uh, mega. All right. So from minor, you go into major, and from major, you go into mega. So that's how it happens. For a mega tsunami, there is a lot of adjustments needs to be done in order for Abba Yahuwah in Elyon, the Most High, to accomplish this great task. Now, it is a great task for Yahuwah to do these adjustments. Again, it is a great task that Yahuwah have to do these adjustments. All right. <laughs> So, 
to gather with the cross of the epicenter of the dome remember i told you over the epicenter is the epicenter is the main the epicenter for the earth right uh these people so stupid in nasa and, and scientists all these people on facebook who run around earthquakes and don't know nothing about earthquakes don't know where earthquakes come from how it starts and what kind of shit and they believe in science and all kind of rubbish you know what i'm saying the the main epicenter for all other so-called epicenters that they call an epicenter is the center of the earth the center of the earth is the main epicenter and, and, and as i explain and i draw for you all already i saw a demonstration i teach for four hours straight on a on 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 where the epicenters are draw it out for you and people still following nasa and the bullshit they're still following their lies right the epicenters are special places where certain things will catastrophically happen you understand that is where the epicenters are explain all where the epicenters is on the earth i explained it already and people don't fucking appreciate i'm not saying my brothers and sisters and yeah not appreciate it but saying all the others now all the others do not appreciate this gift of mercy they don't appreciate it at all so i saw that together with the cross of the epicenter as i told you all already right the magnet is in the center of the earth and when all the poles is switched or turned towards when i use the word switch that doesn't mean like it freaking switch from the east to the west it ain't gonna happen yet right for the east and the west and the north and the south there must be catastrophic disasters there will be disasters to occur because of the fact that uh yahuwah is doing a major adjustment right so right now yahuwah is doing a major adjustment and when the major adjustments completed then he will do um mega adjustments when he begin to do mega adjustments you know mega things will happen bigger events will happen and it will happen uh, not one place but it will happen three places or ten places or will happen like a hundred places at the same time right so that's the reason why earthquakes uh the earthquakes that happen you now yahuwah is doing the shifting and the adjustments of the tectonic plates adding additional tectonic plates uh that is the reason why for the minor earthquakes that the reason reason why for the minor earthquakes being detected uh by the stupid rupture scale that they have you understand that's the only reason why all right uh but when the major and the mega things are to happen that uh uh the ripple scale will tear in half because they wouldn't be alive they wouldn't be alive to freaking even um you know they wouldn't be alive to even report the earthquake they wouldn't be alive to report it they wouldn't have time to report what going to happen to them guys they wouldn't have time at all to report that so together with the cross of the epicenter of the dome center in alignment into uh to bring forth the supernatural transformation to mama imaya wakakodosha of the holy spirit so together with the cross of the epicenter which i already explained of the dome which is the center in alignment to bring forth the supernatural transformation to mama imaya so to mama imaya all right to the holy spirit that is how the transformation will be happening all right that's the only how the transformation will be occurring <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, I am definitely not going to spend four hours teaching. No, I'm not going to spend four hours uh, teaching you all. My go up to about two. We'll see what hours we have now. I will go up to two hours and then I will end the life. I'm not going to four hours anymore. It is very stressful. It is strainless on me and uh, it's unfair. 
that I spent four hours teaching people and others coming and stealing it and then saying it's their words, right? It's time for people to open their eyes to know that Archangel Samuel is the one who speak it over his life. And once he speaks something, it is so. You understand what I'm saying? And people to know that I am the main source, not freaking the people that are telling them certain things that they have no idea about. They don't know. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. And they never receive a tune of visions to know nothing about what's going on around the earth. All right. So two hours live from now on. That's how it will be. Unless if you are going to go over three or four hours. Nah. Nah. Really. Four hours is very hard for me right now. So I just go in two hours. And after I don't teach out this, I will just end the life. You know what I mean? So that at least this teaching, this new teaching, will, will be put into the bag so that people will know uh, well, what next. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I actually plan to teach something else. I plan to do something else, but I was just instructed, no, just go two hours. So I will just go two hours as I am instructed to go. And next time, whenever I go live, I will just teach what I said I was going to teach from the beginning, right? Because it's long, it's a long, it's a long hour, hours teaching, all right? So, yeah, it makes no sense doing four hours live anymore. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people, a lot of you all appreciate the four hours live, but I can't make it anymore to be, to, to actually be honest. You understand? I'm making four hours live and nobody ain't really showing that interest. So, after the time going, right? So, time going, so, uh, the timing for that changing, the timing really changing. But unless if you have to go four hours or three hours or at least two hours, I'll do that. But after I don't teach about uh, this, after I don't teach about this, I will end the life because people are not appreciating the mercy and love and the grace of Elohim. That is the reason why the world comes to end in the first place, right? That is the reason why it comes to an end. <laughs> But I know, I know some people wouldn't care if I go three hours or two hours or one hour or four hours. They just don't care. There are people who just don't care. You understand? They just don't care. They're only, they're only talking and saying all oh, the care and the care and the care. But they just don't care. You understand what I'm saying? That they can uh, uh, people uh, exist today that needs to be completely totally cut off from humanity they need to be totally cut off from existence so that's what's going to happen you know The new world order has only created disorder. Unions are formed for men to speak as one, NATO to ensure that no one country has autonomy over the other. Nations to address issues of war, famine and disasters. Commercially, NAFTA and WTO are designed to protect us from ourselves. But still, People like a piece of tissue, roll them not deal with.
so let's go back there to that teaching so this is the prime reason why so this is the prime reason why for the this is the prime reason why for the minor earthquakes which is 3.1 occurring daily everywhere as with the major earthquakes uh, the major earthquakes will lead up to the mega earthquakes all right so first Yahuwah begin the earthquakes by doing minor shakings and during the minor shakings he do a uh, major shaking which is not really uh, that high of magnitude in other words what I'm trying to say is that uh, there's a prime reason of the minor earthquakes the minor is like the 3.1 or 3.4 or 4.1 the moment that the, the moment that it crossed 5.1 it is considered as a major earthquake again the prime reason, the sad reason or the prime reason for all the minor earthquakes occurring, the minor means 3.1, 3.2, 4.2, 4.1, 4.5, 4.8. But the moment the earthquake crossed 5.0 into 5.1 on the so-called Richter scale, it's considered as a major earthquake. All right? <coughs> Don't let them trick you and talk shit to you and telling you, uh, a four point a four point four is is a major earthquake no a four point four falls under the category of a minor earthquakes nobody knows nothing about minor earthquakes and nobody knows nothing about major earthquakes they don't know nothing why some they don't know they don't know nothing about the minor shifts and they have no idea what is the major shifts and when you when you actually uh put together or you add you know like if you add in a two and two you know, like if you add in one and one, one and one is two, right? That's what I mean. You know, like if you add in seven, seven is fourteen. You know what I mean? Like if you, you know, like if you're doing addition. You know, I don't like maths, but I'm telling you all. Like if you're doing addition, this is how Yahuwah does shifts. Yahuwah add how much? Uh, like for example, um, Yahuwah say okay. Uh, places like Trinidad receive seven earthquakes. He will actually create a major shift in order he will create a major shift and once a major shift happens and falls almost under the category of a mega because all right uh when an earthquake reach uh let me tell you how the mega phases is first let me teach you about the minor all right the minor earthquakes is like it falls under the category of 3.1 4.1 the moment it crosses 5.0 into 5.1 it's considered by Yahuwah as a major earthquake all right <clears throat> when an earthquake happens on the Richter scale of 7.1 into 7.5 it falls into the category of the major oh sorry it falls into the category of the mega earthquake right it falls into the category of the mega earthquake all right so again let me just reteach you all that and i hope that you all will take notes of this all right the the minor earthquakes falls on up to the category of uh 4.4 4.5 5.0 after 5.0 when it goes to 5.1 it's considered a major earthquake when it crosses uh 5.5.1 5 and goes all the way up to 7.5 it's considered a major earthquake when it crosses um 7.5 and goes up to 8.1 it's considered as a mega earthquake all right when it crosses uh 8.1 and goes up to 10.1 then it's like an extra uh it's like a mid it's like a mega uh mega or double x mega i don't know how to explain that to you all yet right then it will be like a double x uh mega earthquake when it crosses 8.1 into 10.1 it is a catastrophic earthquake all right so i just want to i just want to say this again because i rev i revealing something new here and i'm learning something too as well all right so when the major earthquake falls on the sorry the minor the minor earthquakes fall under the category from the lowest point which is like 1.1 to 5.0 
all right when it crosses 5.0 and enters into the state of 5.1 it goes into the major category of earthquakes when it leaves the major earthquakes category and it goes to 7.5 it goes into the mega uh it goes into the mega um category when it leaves the mega category and goes into uh 10.1 it goes into catastrophic uh earthquake so instead of saying double x i will use the last phase which is catastrophic earthquakes so the 10.1 falls under the catastrophic earthquake the 8.1 doesn't fall under the catastrophic earthquake the 8.1 falls under the mega catastrophic earthquakes all right but the 10.1 the 9.1 9.5 all right 8.5 falls under uh the mega catastrophic and when it crosses over from the 8.1 or 8.5 and goes all the way to 10.1 it is considered a catastrophic earthquake catastrophic means devastation it means deadly all right so you know just just keep that in mind right now <clears throat> all right just um yeah just keep that in mind of what i'm telling you right now So if I'm talking a little too fast, if I'm talking a little too fast, you can ask me to slow down, and I don't mind slowing down, right? I don't mind slowing down. So if I'm talking too fast, just let me know. Now you know why is the prime uh the prime reason of the minor earthquakes occurring daily everywhere as of with the major earthquakes all right it creates a shift to begin the execution the execution is from the minor into the major from the major into the mega from the mega into the catastrophic all right <coughs> because with, with a mega earthquake you could escape barely escape but with a catastrophic earthquake you're dead you understand what i mean with a catastrophic earthquake you're dead you understand what i mean the minor earthquake is all right you'll feel a little a little jolt all right minor earthquake will do a jolt uh, but when you reach into the major earthquake the major earthquake comes with a different setting it comes with a different setting so every category of uh earthquakes that happening right now happens under different categories all right you first heard it from archangel samuel and nobody on the earth knows anything about this as usual all right so it creates a shift to begin the execution all right so it begins a shift all right it creates a shift to begin the execution of the arrangements of the tectonic magnetic plates so that means that there is a difference between the tectonic plates and the tectonic magnetic plates so that means that there are magnets there are magnet plates amongst uh, the tectonic plates so it's called yahweh yahuwah called it the tectonic magnetic plates all right so now you know that there's a difference between the tectonic plates which is the normal plates and there's something called which yahuwah calls the tectonic magnetic plates which goes in between the normal tectonic plates in order to empower the magnetic earthquake circle or the magnetic shifts that happen around the earth that 
is the said reason all right so that is the said reason for the difference between the tectonic plates and the tectonic magnetic plates and nobody knows anything about what archangel samuel talking about but they love to steal what are teaching and steal the credit from ya yeah. well let me see how long they will keep it up you know let me see how long they plan to keep that up <laughs> As the teaching said there all right it, it creates a shift to begin the execution of the arrangements the arrangements have a lot to do with the minor earthquakes into the major earthquakes into the minor into the major into the minor into the major if you realize there's only minor and major earthquakes happening no mega quakes happening yet right uh, because after the mega phase then the catastrophic events will happen so that will tell you all everything needs to be in a phase everything is in a phase everything must happen according to the will of elohim which happens in different phases because in different phases is how yahuwah completed his creation in the first place <laughs> you understand that's how yahuwah was able to complete a uh, certain arrangement or execution by doing certain things in phases <laughs> as the teaching continues to state it creates a shift to begin the execution of the arrangements of the tectonic magnetic plates the tectonic magnetic plates is completely different from the tectonic plates just like the friggin pole shift is completely different from the pole reversal shifting they have no idea what they're talking about you understand they don't know one jack shit nothing about what i teach because they will steal it and then put it in their own words because they think they understand what archangel samuel saying but they will steal it and put it in their own words bringing a curse upon others you can't take what is holy and and and, and profane it in that sense you can't do that you can't take what yahuwah take out of his lips you can't use what yahuwah said out of his lips which is holy and then turn it into unrighteousness and then use it to do evil against the righteous ones you can't do that then because you can't steal my prophecies over and over and then now using the same words that i speak out of my mouth from yahuwah and then you're using it now to do evil against me it will never work you know why because all you're doing and all you're doing for your followers is bringing a curse upon them so it's only a curse you, you, you know she she actually influencing a curse upon the people of the caribbean island upon all those who listen to her cock and bull bullshit stories all right and for lies you understand using it to do evil against the righteous ones it will never work against us right you can't take what yahuwah uh said which is holy and turn it profane, turn it into profanity before the creators you can't do that it will never work and i could cross you from now and you and all your followers from now until forever i could cross you i could cross you stink as the day i could cross you however i want i will still end into the new jerusalem we don't know is through me one will enter into the ark without me 
one will never enter into the ark so without i nobody will get into the ark so without me being the main source on the earth nobody will have an opportunity to get into the ark so i could cuss you stink from now until forever as you tell your people i is cuss stink no i don't really cuss stink i just discuss in righteousness and teach people love true love of the creator to reject the system of babylon but see now continue to push the agenda and for people to turn against archangel samuel which is really a curse upon all those who hate righteousness you know what i mean so i could curse forever and i will still enter into the new jerusalem i will still be archangel samuel the fifth angel of the entomb apocalypse i will still be who i say i am nothing will change right nothing will change so if they who are her followers want to continue to live in darkness and have her walk all over them like a doormat they could continue to do so because they already sealed the deal with the devil unknowingly you know they already sealed the deal already with lucifer <laughs> When the arrangements is put into place as a senior when the arrangements is put into place of the tectonic magnetic plates that's when the polar versus shifting will happen that's when all the poles will begin to switch when the tectonic magnetic uh, plates be in alignment as it says here that it will be brought into alignment right uh that's what they're saying right now the, the nasa and, and other people us yes they're talking about the earth already shift and the the north shift into russia and all kind of bullshit let me tell you something if the saturation ain't complete yet there's no pole reversal shifting going on happen although there is the difference there is the pole reversal shifting already happening but if you listen to, to what i said earlier on in life when i specifically said there are different phases within the pole reversal shifting as well as different phases in the pole reversal shifting there are different phases of earthquakes and different phases of the tectonic plate alignment there are different phases of events uh happening around the earth different phases of disasters unfolding right there are different things unfolding on the earth different things unfolding but when the final phases for the pole reversal shifting has completed that is when the tectonic magnetic plates will switch the poles and then the polarity of the epicenter magnet will draw in all the poles and it will automatically switch as I told you all, the magnets is aligned in a different way. And I think that I will be doing a drawing about this very soon. So very soon I will be do I will do a drawing uh, of this and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So very soon I will do a drawing like what I did and uh, I will do the drawing might be on Facebook who knows I might do the drawing and I will definitely show you all what I'm talking about. You can only get a polyvosa shifting on a flat earth. You could never get a polyvosa shifting on a spinning ball. So all those who believe in the bullshit of NASA and all of them and their lies they could continue to believe in their lies you know what i mean in the devika cult could remain in the devika cult remain in that cult the lake of fire is already prepared <laughs> 
remain in all the different cults that you want to remain in remain in, in Yahweh cult remain in religion cult remain in, in Buddhist cult remain in New Age cult sky watchers cult you remain in your cult right you continue to remain in your cult yes yes is that exactly what it is Devika is running a cult yeah she running a cult as well as other members other members of the same cult the Illuminati cult running a cult is a cult they're running guys is a cult all churches is a cult all Muslim uh, all Muslim temples and mosques is a cult all religion is a cult and if you open your eyes to see that all religion is a cult then you should remain in your cult remain in your cult until the lake of fire burn you remain remain in your cult because you don't want to come out from your cult but let the saturation process complete once the saturation process complete for all the islands you're doomed trust me you're really doomed <laughs> Once it's brought into complete alignment, once all the magnets, the north, the once all the poles is brought into complete alignment with the main epicenter of the earth, of this earth, which is the uh, the center of the earth, the main epicenter is uh, where I showed you the drawing a few days ago. I showed you the drawing last year. I showed you the drawing year before. I already showed you all the drawing of the um, of the tectonic wheel, and I show you all that the tectonic wheel could reverse all. Uh, could the tectonic wheel have a lot to do with the magnets? which could reverse the poles as well that is what Yahuwah will be using to reverse the poles there's a lot that people don't know I'm talking about astrology and all this kind of bullshit and science and all them kind of bullshit all right that's just complete rubbish I teach you the truth that's all, that's all I mean all right so so with so when uh, everything is put in, into place with the cycles of the celestial bodies what is the celestial bodies the blood moons the uh, blood moons which includes the solar eclipse uh, the super moon all those things are celestial body the sun is a celestial body the moon is a celestial body the foundation stones of Elohim is a, is a celestial bodies you understand lightning is a celestial body as well you understand because those are things that the creator created right and I went uh, well I already told you all how lightning is created I teach you all every single thing that they could think about all right for free you understand you'd rather go a university to learn uh, about these things that I teach you all because you know you have to pay big money and then you will be uh, you have to stay years in school to understand what I teach you which I, I, I teach you certain things for a whole four hours I teach you a whole long book a whole full book in four hours where you taking it might take years it might take like seven years or so to, to learn that whole book about geography and science and all kind of bullshit I teach you this in four hours you understand I teach you a whole book and even more you understand I teach you the things that people just go to university for and pay uh, 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 one set of money to learn right one set of money to learn and still don't know the truth because they will never teach you the truth the system will never teach you the truth because the system don't know the truth the system knows nothing they create their own religion their own education right to deceive humanity that's what religion did create their own way right so with the cycles of the celestial bodies all of these events will fall in line with a blood moon that will be coming on the 21st of uh on the 19th all right 
on the 19th of this month eclipse so on the 19th of this month 19th of this month there will be a lunar eclipse there will be a, a lunar eclipse that will be in the night sky together with a super moon together with a super moon it means that the the super moon indicates of the coming darkness which will be the 23 days of darkness that will unfold which i told you all about some years ago about the 23 days of darkness first it was three days of darkness all right i know you heard plenty of christians talking about the three days of darkness they heard it from me they first heard about the three days of darkness from archangel samuel right they first heard it from me but back then i didn't call myself archangel samuel i had different names to hide uh who i am in trying to reach out to people you understand what i mean so i told you all about the three days of darkness and then yahuwah had uh then yahuwah had 20 days there which brings it to 23 days of darkness right so yahuwah had 20 days to the three days what brings us to 23 days of darkness so it's no longer three days of darkness anymore it's 23 days of darkness that they will experience and the reason for the uh, solar eclipse the lunar eclipse the super blood moon and all the sort of thing uh, that occurring on the earth so this month on the 19th there will be a lunar eclipse to occur as well as a super blood moon or super new moon which will also fall on the Shabbat of the righteous ones in Elohim as well so on the 19th there will be a lunar solar eclipse on the 21st of uh, February this month there should be a solar eclipse occurring so make sure that you take notes of this this is something that uh, I had uh, that I already told you all what will happen next and what is the steps of judgment and the different phases which includes uh, the shifting of the tectonic as well as the magnetic plates that all those earthquakes are occurring right now <laughs> So now you understand about the celestial the cycles of the celestial bodies within the dome when the tectonic wheel you see look at here when the tectonic wheel begins the cycle of the pole reversal shifting so now we're talking about a cycle we're no longer talking about a phase we're talking about a cycle and a cycle comes along every at, at least uh for a certain time and a time that's when a cycle just come along right i can't really explain it in the heavenly term for you because we wouldn't understand so i'm trying to explain this prophecy which was given uh uh i think this prophecy was given um january yes this prophecy was given on the let me see this prophecy was given on the 21st of january 2019 and now it will be on uh, well now it's already unveiling in uh, the uh well from the 5th of february coming right down this is where this prophecy going to fulfill all right <coughs> to complete uh, this within of elohim all right so with the cycles of the celestial bodies which are already